I'm really exposing myself right now. This is why we do spring cleaning. Today is closet day. And I'm seeing a lot of hangers still turn the other direction and I don't want to get rid of stuff, but I need to get rid of stuff. I'll give it one more year in the closet. And if she doesn't come out to play, she's getting donated next year. The braids are up, you know we mean business. We're cleaning the apartment. Hello friends. Adriana here, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, live and work in New York City. Recently went through some um, changes at work where I now have a lot more free time. And spring has kind of sprung in New York City. It is 60 something degrees outside today. It has been for the past two days in a row. And my apartment is a disaster. If you've watched the last two vlogs, I think this box of Brita filters. I'm really exposing myself right now. I think this box of Brita filters has been sitting there for like two or three weeks. So <laughs> it is Friday. I no longer have to work on Fridays. I don't coach on Fridays. Um, so we're just, we're starting an extreme clean, extreme organization, spring cleaning to the max vlog. So I hope y'all are ready for some time lapse, some uh, major transformation, and just a good old time. You know, we're resetting. Use this as motivation. Stick around. It's probably going to be like an hour long video. Maybe. We'll see. Because I think like this is going to be like a couple days thing. Today's Friday. I honestly don't expect to fully finish this all until Monday. Because if you've also seen the last vlogs, you know why there's... um many clothes on my dining table and and if you didn't see the vlog it's because two or three weeks ago my closet collapsed and it is still looking as if I haven't touched it because I haven't so, <laughs> so we're gonna clean we're gonna pick up the mess this is the game plan we're gonna pick up the mess we're gonna deep clean, like vacuum, wash the floors, wash the bathroom, clean everything, wipe down all surfaces. And then we're doing an extreme closet clean out. We're taking everything out, going through it all, deciding what's to donate, what's to sell, what's to keep, putting it back in, fixing the thing that's broken. And I think that's it. I have a lot of work to do, so stick around. This should be a good one. I do these videos every once in a while, and they're a fave of mine. I know a lot of you like them too, so let's have some fun and clean. Wow. Well, dishes are done. Amazing. Now it's time to clean the stovetop. So I'm not kidding y'all. We are, we are doing it all. Okay, kitchen, sink, stovetop, wall done. Now we're heading into the pantry because I've decided I think it makes the most sense to just like start in one area and move from there. I'm just gonna move these out of the way so you guys can actually like see into what I'm doing. I'm so ready for the consistent warm weather so I can put my winter coats like I vacuum seal them in the vacuum bags and like put them under my bed. Cannot wait for that. So this is what we're working with. I know you can't see that much, but it's a bit of a disaster. Here, let me pull out the second camera to give you a close up. Do you hear this? This is my life. Love this apartment, hate the noise. Okay, let's give 
give you guys a better view of what's going on in here. So I just, so I just took my recycle out. But it is shoes galore. Random stuff down there. More shoes. Kind of organized pantry side because I did that kind of recently. Um, this stuff is all a bit of a mess. But this shouldn't be too bad. Honestly, I'm not going to take everything out. I'm just going to more like organize. Maybe rearrange a little bit there. So let's see what we do. Okay. I'm going to start with taking my recycle out. So I'll be right back. All right. One thing checked off. <sighs> the sirens and trucks, it's ridiculous. Y'all keep me accountable. I bought this tennis racket. It's actually a set of two tennis rackets. Last year on Prime Day. I haven't used it yet. So this summer, we're using it. We will learn to play tennis. I'm embarrassingly far through this bag that I got when I was home last weekend. Maybe I'll put you guys up here. Give y'all a fun overhead view. I hope you're enjoying these overhead views because I'm going to start on the floor anyways down here so I think that'll work. I think that will work well. Okay. Alright. Now we're in business. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get to organizing. Like, why? Why? I find it so funny that I literally have this rolling cart. It's like a grocery rolling cart. Have I ever used it for groceries? No, it literally just sits here and holds things. Honestly, there have been times where I'm like, I wish I had a cart like this with me at the grocery store, but I feel like I'm almost too, I don't know. It just feels like so nerdy and something that old people use that I just need to get over myself and like use it so that I can like get heavier things. <laughs> the collection of white sneakers. It's ridiculous. Half of them I never even wear. Because they're white and they get dirty fast. No duh. No duh, Adriana. What were you thinking? Oh, so many shoes. Oh, this is what I wanted to look for. I have this other part of the wire thing back here. Wire thing. Wire shelving back here. And I'm like, please let there be extra brackets. But I don't think there are. No. Uh, bummer. Let's go through the shoes. This floor is so squeaky. Oh man, okay. Y'all, I bought these loafers like last year. I don't think I've ever worn them because I can't find something, like I can't find the right outfit for them. I do have something in mind that I think will work this summer, so hopefully you'll see these worn. Same with these. Bought these last spring, never worn. I tend to do that with shoes that I'm like, I like the idea of them, but it's like sometimes they just like don't look good on me. So I buy them because I like the idea of them, but I don't actually have like an outfit that I know I'm going to wear with them or I try on the outfit and then I hate it, you know? Does this happen to you? I can't wait to be able to wear these. It's getting to be the warm weather for them. They're my favorite. I need either another shoe rack or less shoes. Let's be real, I need another shoe rack. Cause we ain't getting rid of the shoes. While it's kind of empty, might as well do a little sweepy sweep. Okay, so I actually need to put this other bag. This guy is what 
usually lives at the bottom of that closet and like holds on to things. So we're gonna do a quick look through of the stuff on this table because I think some of it should maybe go in here. Actually, maybe not. I think we're actually good. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yep, never mind. This can be zipped up and go in. This is the mess we're working with at the moment. But it's okay. In we go. And shoe down. All of my beach towels just sit right here because it's the best spot I have for them. Put this in the back. I love that I can fully walk in here. That works. These are my laundry and grocery bags, so I need easiest access to them. So we're just gonna tuck them right here. Do I go through the bags? Probably should. All right, we're doing it. This is literally just apple boxes. I'm like, do I throw it out? Do I keep it? I don't know. I feel like you gotta keep it. So if you ever wanna like resell, not that I plan on getting rid of my iPad anytime soon at all. So many things. All right. Ooh. Okay, this doesn't totally fix my problem, but. There are two brackets that it was sitting on where I can't tell where I'm facing. You see that? One, two. We might do a little switcheroo. A little bracket switcheroo, hold on. Okay, I just took the bent brackets out of my closet. And I feel like these ones are fine enough to hold some bags and I can take those ones and put them in there. Yes, problem solving without having to spend money and buy other brackets. Hell to the yeah. Look at these straight bad boys, amazing. Come on, come on. All right, let's do, let's do my closet real quick. While we're at it, you know, so this is the state of it now. <laughs> everything, I was like, I don't wanna take everything off. That's so much work. So let's see if we can do this. I'm just putting you on a pile of clothes, so. Apologies if like, it's not the best uh, set up here, but whatever. Okay, where was it? That feels high. I'm like, I don't remember what it was on. Maybe there. Okay, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Fingers crossed, y'all. Let's get this bad boy back up. <laughs> Oh, she's heavy. Oh, it's so heavy. Okay. I lied, I can't get <laughs> I don't know what you guys can see of any of this. Maybe if I put you up here. Let's try one more time. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, where does it go? How the heck does this even hook on? Up and over. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Hell yes. Oh my god, we did it. Y'all, I did it. Ha! I think that's higher than it used to be. You know what? Do I want to lower it? I mean, I did it once. I can do it again, right? And that gives me more space. So maybe keeping less space between the two will keep me from overloading it like I did this one with the last ones I'll decide if I switch it later for now let's go back to the pantry but yes closet shelf is fixed only took three weeks <laughs> okay we've pared down the bags to just a big bag with other like backpacks and big bags and then a target bag with all of my reusable bags we're keeping the apple boxes <laughs> Goodness, I almost forgot to put my new Tevas away. Aren't these so cute? 
I wore them yesterday because it was a gorgeous day and Christiana and I, my sister, we went to go hang out on the West Side Highway. And they're just like such a fun little pop of color. And they're the like slight platform. Obsessed. I have a black pair of these and now I have a fun color too. But where to put them? That is the question. Oh, there's space behind you. These guys get to live up here. These will continue to exist on the floor because I just don't have space and that's okay. All right, I was about to put like my broom and Swiffer back in, but then I was like, wait, we still have to do the pantry side. So, but this is looking much better. Will I get to this? I might do it, but I might do it like off camera because it's like medicine and things like that. And like, I don't know that I want to go seeing all the things that I have. I don't know. It just feels weird. So let's do the other side. Where can I put you now to get a good view? Maybe up here. Oh yeah. Ha ha. All right. This is my pantry. Let's get to it. Hmm. Honestly, up here is fine. <laughs> Literally my lint roller. Um, this is pretty good up here, I'd say. Yeah. Let's work. Yeah, from kind of like here down is what needs some love. is complete everything up there is all fine but this is much more organized kind of have like rice pasta noodles soups and beans chips granolas and um, trail mix back there this is like tea paper products plastic bags like all the little weird like random kitchen things bars some other like sweeteners things in jars random stuff pancake mixes crackers that's like baking supplies kind of back there and then these are things i use pretty regularly and we're good look at how great this is all right so this is the state of the kitchen area now I figure I'm just gonna put all of my little tote bags in this this little thing here I got this from Target you can't even see because it's so dark but it's this like blue velvet stool that has storage space inside I think I'm just gonna put all of my tote bags like all of these guys just like in there so that they're easily accessible and I know where they are because that's the thing I'll, I'll like have I always look for this one <laughs> this is my sister made this she designed it made it um, but I always look for that and I end up like putting it somewhere else like in the pantry but then don't know where in the pantry it went. So I feel like if I just put all of my tote bags in there, it'll be better, easy to find them all the time. Um, but yeah, I had to take a couple things out to make space for the camera. But these I'm just going to trash. These I'm going to donate. This stuff can be hung back up. Those all go away. And we're doing good. So I'm trying to figure out what to do next and I feel like next I want to be able to like vacuum and clean the floors Though I should probably start with like cleaning off surfaces. I think that's what I should do. So The closet is a day in itself. I wasn't gonna put stuff back in the closet So I was like that doesn't make sense But to be able to like clean everything off I need to like put my clothes away So I think I'm just gonna like put all of this stuff in the closet not really care about where I'm putting it right now but then just be able to like clean off all the surfaces and put everything away so that I can like wipe down surfaces vacuum Swiffer do the whole thing also what time is it because I do have a doctor's appointment at 2 20 okay it's 3 25 so I think all I'm gonna have time for right now is like cleaning off the surfaces maybe if I'm fast we can like actually clean them when I make cleaning off like picking up the surfaces putting everything away if we can get to it I would love to be able to like clean the surfaces too so 
we're going to start with this pile over here. It's always the question of, do I show you the taking the clothes away or the putting the clothes in the closet? I would show you both, but my other camera, I can't find the other batteries or my charger for it, so I only have one camera at the moment. I don't really feel like using my phone because I don't think I have enough storage on that because I really need to empty that out. <laughs> so you get this. I chose for you. just put back a couple things that like I need to like sit and like look through and also find a better spot for but for now we're leaving it like that let's do the dresser dresser complete and with that I have just over 30 minutes until my appointment so I think it is time to put a pin in this extreme clean organization vlog so put this away honestly I have to say I'm pretty happy with what I got done in the like hour and a half almost two hours that I've been working like pantry y'all saw it's looking good closet is disastrous but we have some clothes up there so at least it's out of the way over here um i still have a little mound you can't really see on top of that some receipts that i need to fetch um but this cleaned off cl wiped down cleaned off wiped down we'll go through that later this is stuff that i'm donating slash selling so next will definitely be the living room to pick it up and clean off my coffee table. We're definitely gonna like deep dive, go down with all of the crap down there and um, like go through stuff, organize it, wipe everything down. And then bathroom needs like a deep clean. So I don't know what tomorrow now. I'm going to my doctor's appointment and then meeting up with Christiana to do some work. We're gonna go to Barvaloche and have ourselves a little like Nice Friday afternoon of getting some work done with some happy hour glasses of wine because they always have the like windows open and today's a gorgeous day outside. So we're going to soak it up. So I don't know that I'll get to any more today. So tomorrow we may pick up where we left off, but I'll keep you posted. But I would say that's some pretty good progress for day one. It's another day and some more cleaning and organizing is to be had. Happy Saturday, friends. It's in the afternoon. It's like four o'clock almost and I've worked out. I finished editing last week's vlog and now we're getting back to it. We're moving on to the living room. So you've seen what it looks like. Now let's start the transformation. Okay, I was kind of thinking maybe I clean this out of the dirt, this dead plant that's been sitting here dead for months. Um, and I was like, oh, maybe I put my candles in it. But now that I think about it, I don't think the candles will really give off any light if they're in this, because they're all shorter than this. So this is just gonna continue to sit here dead. But everything's much more organized. Everything's been wiped down. 
coffee table complete. Vacuum time. I just sat and scrolled for like probably almost an hour, but now it's time to Swiffer. It is 5.30. I needed just like a break. Honestly, today is like such a chill day. I got most of my vlog edited yesterday, so I just had some little bit that I finished up this morning. Um, so I'm just like enjoying a relaxing weekend. Alrighty, I know that wasn't that much, like picking up and doing the living room and then vacuuming and swiffering, but I think that's where I'm gonna stop for today because it's like almost six and I just don't feel like cleaning anymore. So tomorrow, well, all I have left is the bathroom and my closet. Tomorrow may be my closet, we shall see. Um, bathroom shouldn't take me too long. I should just bang it out and then I also have to do laundry. So that'll be tomorrow slash Monday. But we're doing good friends. It's really cleaning up in here. It feels cleaner already. It's just like feels and smells clean now. So that is a win. Good morning. Good morning. Day three of this extreme clean transformation. Um, and it's officially closet clean out time. And we're starting with laundry. I have had such a productive morning, y'all. I got up at like 7.45. It's Sunday and I just woke up at 7.45. I did lay in my bed and scroll a little bit, but um, then I was like, you know what, we're getting up. We're getting after it, we're doing laundry. So it is 10.30 a.m. and I have already washed dried i've hung out my clothes that have to hang dry and now all we have left is to fold so i'm gonna do a little time lapse of me folding and then it is time to attack the closet i started there was some other stuff that was on the floor so i started taking things out so this is where we're at right now i haven't touched any of the hanging stuff or anything but like the floor is looking cleaner this is one of those like blow up things I'll insert a picture of me laying in it so you know what I'm talking about that probably shouldn't live in there but floor is almost cleared off um so yeah we got some work to do and honestly I would love to power through this and be done by midday like I'm aiming for 1 p.m closet is finished and we're done cleaning I do still have my bathroom, but I think I'm going to save that for tomorrow. I'll go work out in the morning, come home, and, like, clean my shower while I take a shower and, like, deep clean everything else as well. So today is closet day.
Okay, my camera died and my other battery was also not charged, so I did some work off camera. This is where we're at. <laughs> the closet. I have all of the shelves, like these shelves empty. I left those like two sweatshirts and that fluffy sweatshirt because like I know that's where it's going to live. And then the stuff all up there, I'm not going to take out because it's organized, none of it's going, so there's no point in taking it out, just to put it back in. So the top levels are good. It is time to get to work on this closet though. And I don't know if I'm like sad or happy about this, but last time I did a closet clean out, I put hangers back so that some were the other way. So it's like if I haven't used it, next time I do a closet clean out, that means it's time to go. And I'm seeing a lot of hangers still turn the other direction. And I don't want to get rid of stuff, but I need to get rid of stuff. Let's pop you back here, okay? And we're going to get started. Some stuff had fallen down. I literally, this was from Yasmin. She gave it to me when she was doing a closet clean out like a year ago. Have I ever worn it? No. So it's going in the donate pile. This is one of those things that I'm like, I haven't worn it and it's been sitting in my closet for years, but it's like a nice little Calvin Klein pea coat. So I feel like it's not something I can really get rid of. Like this is something eventually I will be happy I had, but it's just gonna continue to live at the back of my closet. If I can get it back there. Carrying on this I've worn, this I've worn, this I've worn. This I have not and don't think I will again because the only time this fit and looked good was when I weighed 125 pounds two years ago. Watch me be sad. Well, I don't know, you know, because like, hmm, no, it's so cheap. It's from Forever 21. I don't need that in my life. Oh, we have our first contender of the not flipped, though this is like a cute little t-shirt. And I'll probably wear it come the summer months. So we're going to keep it anyway. That'll just like look good over, over shorts, you know. I love this shirt. I bought literally just to wear around my ex's parents. So donate she goes. This one I haven't worn in a while. It was flipped. I haven't worn it. But I do feel like if I go to the Hamptons this summer, which I feel like... Fourth summer in New York, we're making it to the Hamptons. I'll keep it flipped the other way so that if I don't wear it, next year it will go. I bought this. It literally still has the tags on it. I thought it would be something I would wear, but it's just so specific. It's like this silky, satiny, short sleeve button up. Like I, I wanna say like jeans and like a bathing suit, it would look cute. I just like haven't and don't think I will, but I love it because the design is so cute. I'm keeping it. I don't care. <laughs> We've got some skirts. I think this skirt can go. It is so short and like probably I feel like not appropriate for me to wear anymore. Like my ass would be out in this. It's really cute. This cute little Brandy Melville skirt, but I wore it. She had its life. We're good. These other skirts are fine. I would still wear those. What do we have here? Some skirts that I know I don't wear. I want to keep it because I love it. I thrifted this at a crossroads in California. It's like a denim, black denim skirt and it has this embroidery and it's so cute. So I'm going to hold on to this. This I'm going to get rid of. It's like a little schoolgirl skirt. I just don't need it. And then I have a little black leather skirt that I still wear. So that we're keeping. I am explaining why I'm keeping things so that if you are like, I need some rationale for keeping things or not. I'm explaining my rationale. Pair of black linen pants and some flowy black pants. I still wear those. I think all of this, whoops, where are you coming from, hanger? All of this is stuff that I still wear, so that can stay. This one, I haven't worn as much. I think I can part ways with this one. Well, I don't know. It's like a nice little like layer over things. No, I haven't worn it in over a year. We're getting rid of it. Getting rid of it. 
Um, these are two skirts that I still wear. Oh, I do have a button up. Why did I not think I had a blue button up? I literally just bought one. I'm dumb. Well, that'll be getting returned when that comes in the mail. I have this black Lululemon like zip up jacket, but this is one of the like old styles and it's really long and I just don't wear it. So I'm like kind of tempted to sell it. I feel like eventually down the line, like maybe someday I'll be like, man, I wish I still had that jacket. But this is also like eight years old and it's in great condition. So I'm like, might as well just sell it, make a little money off of it. It's been sitting in my closet for years. Like I could not tell you the last time I wore this. Maybe my first year living in New York. I don't even remember. All right, now we're ready to keep it going. Keep the party train moving. Another one that I have not worn, but this is like one of those things, you know, like I feel like if I go camping this summer, I'll be happy to have this which I think I am gonna go camping this summer, so we're gonna keep it. I am gonna put a better hanger on it because we don't need that. I'll do the reverse hang method though so that if I don't use it this summer, next time I'm doing a closet clean out video, it's like, okay, Adriana, time to go. It's like, same with this. I, I'm never gonna wear a denim oversized shirt. Had it for years, literally never wear it. Oh, why do I have so many things on these dumb hangers? This one's getting the reverse method as well. It's just like a good old Eddie Bauer flannel. Can't go wrong. Ooh, I have my two. I literally thrifted both of these. They're corduroy button-ups from Zara. Why pay full price when you can thrift it for half the price? <laughs> oh, I love this jacket. This is staying. I wear it pretty frequently when I go out and need a layer. That's a jacket that I wear, and that's all stuff that I wear. Okay, y'all, we did good. I honestly think I took like half the stuff out from down here. This is what the bottom layer is looking like. Look at all of that space. I'll organize it better in a minute, but I wanna go through this side first, so. Let's see, give you guys a good view. Honestly, I might see if Cristiano wants these. These are both from our grandpa who passed this summer. And they were like cute, but I just don't think I'm really gonna wear them. I think this dress has had its time. This dress, I think has had its time in my life. It is like low key see-through and it's not like I'm really going clubbing anymore. So we don't need you. She had a few good wears. Oh. This dress is so cute. I wore this last spring when we went out to a club once. Oh, we went to Lava, which is now closed. Sad. Um, but keeping you, because that'll be fun for like a vacation, I'm sure. If they go anywhere fun, tropical. This little short set that I really did not get a chance to wear last summer, but this summer, that shall change. Put it in front where I'll actually see it. Ooh, we got my blazer with a bunch of little dresses under it. I'm going to put the blazer on its own hanger. Now that I have so many free hangers, this black blazer is so cute. I got it from um, Princess Polly. It was my one brand deal that I did last year, and it's so cute. It's oversized, and it's great. What do we have here? Dress that I never wear anymore. Well, actually, I wear this as like a pool cover-up. Romper, dress, we'll keep you. This is a cute little black midi, not midi, mini. Oh my God, everything's tangled. All these little straps, okay. I wore this gray dress for Yasmin's engagement party. I honestly don't know that I'd wear it again because it showed all of my sweat. We'll see, I'll keep it. If I don't wear it this year, then it can go away. These are another dress and romper that I wear frequently in the summer. Ooh, we got a lot, we got a lot. Okay, these are both dresses that I just got last spring, so we'll definitely keep those. We'll keep the romper. This is a t-shirt dress. 
that it's easy to like throw on over stuff. We like you. All right, we've come to some things that have the reverse hang. Denim dress. I think my reasoning for keeping it last time was that it's like, it's more of a unique piece. But I haven't worn it, y'all. But I think I'm still gonna keep it. <laughs> this romper on the other way, this is just like a black plain romper. I, it doesn't really do much shape-wise for me, so. That I haven't worn since the last clean out, which was over a year ago, or maybe a year ago. These are both dresses that I wear and like. Pants, skirt that I like, pants that I like. Nice dress, dress, romper, dress, dress, romper. Ugh, this dress. I literally bought it from H&M and have never worn it. And it's like so cute, but I just like haven't had a reason to wear it. So I'll give it one more year in the closet. And if she doesn't come out to play, she's getting donated next year. Okay. Well, I feel pretty good about that. Didn't get rid of a ton of stuff, but it's okay. Couple things, couple things we're getting rid of, but you can go back there. I also off camera before did my like socks and underwear thing while I was waiting for things to charge. So there's that as well. Okay, so all these dresses and rompers We'll see how it goes this summer, what of it I wear and what I don't, but that feels much better. Look at all these empty hangers. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Amazing. That's trash. This can go with my extra hanger storage. I have whenever I have extra hangers. I put them right up there. So I'm happy to see that that is growing again. Feel good, we're doing good. We're getting there friends, we are getting there. So I'm gonna start putting some things back in. The question is, I have so many sweatshirts. This is sweatshirts, 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 sweatshirts. Literally four piles of sweatshirts. The thing is I wear them all. So it's like, I can't, I don't wanna get rid of I don't want to get rid of stuff that I wear, but it's like, okay, what stuff do I wear most often? Put that in like the front of the closet. I'm also like three of these sweatshirts are orange theory sweatshirts. Two of them are coach ones. So I'm like, maybe I just really make my bottom drawer in my dresser, my like orange theory drawer, which I honestly do have the space for. So I think that is what I'm going to do. I have like a couple random things in there that like don't really need to be in there. Like these shorts that could probably fit in this second drawer, kind of. I'll make a spot for them. Three sweatshirts going in the drawer. Now I have a truly dedicated orange theory drawer in the bottom of my dresser. Love that. This is where we're at for a um, pile of things to like donate or sell. I think the only thing I'm really gonna try to sell is the Lululemon jacket. Everything else I'm just gonna donate because I don't wanna take the time trying to sell it because that's the other problem. That's the problem with selling clothes is that it's like, yes, you do your closet clean out and you wanna get rid of the clothes, but sometimes you wanna make money off of it. But then where is it gonna sit while you wait for it to sell, you know? That's, that's the dilemma. So I'm like, I don't want to wait, like probably could make some money from a couple of these things that are a little nicer, but I just want it out of my apartment. <laughs> I just want it out. Get it out. <laughs> okay. Let's put some sweatshirts back in, shall we? What's going to be the more satisfying view? The taking the things off the bed or putting them in the closet? It's the important questions. It's looking pretty good. All of my pants, pants, sweatshirts, 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 sweaters, 
sweatpants matching sets sweatpants long hanging things short hanging things y'all we're getting there and it is only 1209 this is the biggest part of the mess and these are my long sleeve shirts Ugh. they just so easily come unfolded and it just turns into like throwing into the pile at the top of my closet so we're gonna go through and see what we keep some of this stuff it's like I don't really wear it but it's like you know you have some of those comfy long sleeves that you just like to have part of the problem part of the reason I don't wear some of this stuff here is because my apartment is always so freaking hot no matter the season like in the winter it's still hot in my apartment so I have these long sleeves but no real use for them maybe some of them will go back home to my parents because it's like there I use them and I'm happy to have them there but I don't really need them all here like I don't need five like comfy pajama long sleeve tops like I am just not wearing them got this one from Jamaica that's a good one so maybe I'll pick a couple that I want to keep and have a few that I'm gonna send home eventually Okay, we've organized just like plain long sleeve shirts, comfy long sleeve shirts. These are like long sleeves that I wear regularly in the winter as like a cute base layer. Same with these. Going out tops. Athletic tops. What of this can I get rid of? <laughs> I feel like there's a few of these. This I wear pretty regularly. This I wear pretty regularly. I want to say these three could go home. Like I don't really wear this here so that could go home. So that brings that down a little bit. All of these tops are good just like long sleeves especially in the springtime when I like go to work out just have a layer over. Okay honestly I feel pretty good about that. I'm happy. Now, they all just toppled over. Now, let's put them away. Pile down here is getting a little bit bigger, which is good. Stick you guys in here. Oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> Stick. Put these guys here. We might have a problem. How did this all fit before? Where? Oh no, you guys fell over. It's like I heard something fall. Oh, come on. Stay. I only have one hand. Ah! Ah! I think you guys are good. Sorry for all the falling. <laughs> I don't think you're going anywhere now. I'm thinking I'm just going to stack all of these, like regular long sleeves on top of each other. Is this annoying for like getting things out? Yes, because I'm gonna have to like pull it out and hopefully like this is literally going almost to the top. Like pull it out when I put stuff away, I put it back in, which I can do. It's not that big of a deal. The athletic long sleeves under the going out long sleeves because there are not many of those. Okay, y'all, last couple things. Sweater needs to go up here, which there is space for it. Whoa. Over here. Scoot you guys out of here. What an adventure that was. Okay, y'all. She is organized. This looks so much better. I'm so happy. All I need to do now is slide you over. This stuff, this all I just tuck down in the bottom down here for easy access. So slide you in, slide you in. Hamper goes here. 
These are all my like fanny packs and bags that I use pretty regularly, so didn't feel like I needed to go through that. Probably could get rid of all of these masks. <laughs> these are all homemade masks that my sister and my mom made during the pandemic, and then some other like Lulu ones and whatever. Um, I don't know, comment down below if I should just throw them out, if I should, I don't know, donate that? Can you don't, I don't know, I feel like that's like not sanitary, even if they've been washed or if I washed them again, I feel like donating masks is not sanitary. I don't know, comment down below what I should do with those. But the closet is clean and it's only 1224, y'all, crushed that. So these are gonna go home next time my mom comes to visit. I organized my um, dresser drawers maybe like a, two months ago at this point. And the organization has pretty, pretty much stayed. Like, look at the leggings. Leggings, shorts, yes, we're doing good. Pack all this up into a bag and put it, um, bring that to donate. But y'all, we're almost done! I think I'm just gonna do some like last little, like put that away, some last little things, and then all we have left is the bathroom, and I'm just gonna do that tomorrow because it's a beautiful day outside, and it's Sunday, and I wanna spend some time outside and maybe hang out with some friends because um, last night Shane just ended up coming over and hanging out, which was nice, but I kinda wanna get outside. So, I hope you're enjoying. We got one room left and we're doing great. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow when I clean the rest of my apartment. I have procrastinated long enough. It is time to clean the bathroom. Um, while I clean the bathroom, I figure I've been trying to use hair oil more often, help my hair grow, because I have very thin hair. So I got this stuff off Amazon. It had good reviews. I don't use it regularly enough, but I've been trying to use it more. I'm like halfway through it. But I figure this is the perfect opportunity since I'm going to shower after this to oil my hair. Okay, sufficiently covered. Now we massage it in. I really have to say, I very much dislike cleaning bathrooms. I don't, like, I don't think it's that hard. It's just, like, the most annoying room to clean. But my plan of action, we're going to start with the sink, and I'm going to take everything out of up here and, like, wipe it down. I don't think I'm going to really touch my cabinet, because I think it's pretty good. It's, like, nothing too wild up there. But we'll take everything out of here. There's a couple things that can be put away. Wipe it down. Wipe all of this down. And then... I'm like, how deep clean do I want to go right now? Like, do I want to, like, wipe all of the, like, these edges up here? Can you even see? You can't even see what I'm putting at. This, like, trim edge. Like this. <sighs> I'm like, I'm doing a deep clean, I probably should, but I just don't know that I want to go that hard. Anybody also hate cleaning their bathroom? I mean, who really loves cleaning? If you do, more power to ya. Okay, I think that is sufficiently massaged. seconds and it'll make it cleaner y'all look at this freaking leaf 
My palm is going to take over this bathroom soon. It really has done so well in here. Like it's even sprouting more. Like look at all of these. I don't have space. I need a bigger, I literally need a bigger apartment just for the palm. Just for that. Let me know if you agree in the comments. <laughs> Other side. Amazing. All right. Now I'm gonna do my least favorite part. Le toilette. Let's get some soap in there. I use Castile soap in my toilet. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Ugh, this is my least favorite part. Done with that. The last and final stop. The shower. Oh, right. Let's see. Does this have anything in it? Ooh, a tiny little bit. Okay. I pulled out the big guns for this. The Clorox. I'm gonna spray it down, let it sit for a few minutes, and then hop in and shower and wash it down while I shower. Get it in all those crevices. Ooh, gotta open a window. <coughs> Nothing like inhaling some some bleach. I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna shower it off. See you on the other side. And my shower and myself are clean. <laughs> All right, we are getting there. Last couple things. Reuse this. Wipe down nurse. Ew, the top of my cabinet. And you know, this is why we do spring cleaning. I hope this video has prompted you guys to do at least some sort of spring cleaning. But just in case you were wondering, this is for self tan. It's to be able to like do my back without help from someone else. <laughs> oh, this is the after though. This is what we're working with. She's looking good. She's looking fresh. Well, ignore those. <laughs> They'll hang there to dry and then they'll go in my like dirty dish towel and rag bag. But looking good, greenery, amazing as always. We've kept the living room clean, wiped down, organized. All the goods, all the goods, y'all. We did it, we cleared the whole thing off. I went through all of the like stuff that I had over there. This is stuff that I'm gonna donate. A couple of these things are going home and then the rest of that is like sell. Kept this guy all cleared off. This is the only thing I have, these bags that I just like didn't really know where to put them, but you know what? It works and I use them so it's easy to grab. But look at how good my apartment looks. So clean, bed is made. Dishes are all cleaned. Of course we had more. Sink's been cleaned. Everything's looking good. Y'all, the closet. Oh, baby, the organization. It's just too good. And the pantry will give you one last pantry look. I know you want to see it. The recycle has filled a bit, but let's get some light on the subject. Also, I have all these sticky lights everywhere in my apartment, and they're so helpful because now I can actually see in here. The organization in here has stayed top notch. Oh my goodness. And that concludes our spring cleaning, extreme clean and organized. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around. I have a feeling this is a long one. So if you watch till the end, thank you. I appreciate you as always. And um, I hope this video prompted you to do a little spring cleaning yourself, even if it's just one room, 
Baby steps, one room at a time. That's all you need to do. But I feel like my apartment is now ready for the new season, ready for my new life. So thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. My channel is growing and I'm so happy to have so many new friends and faces here. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Take a look at some of my other extreme cleaning videos over the years. Uh, they're always a satisfying time. So thank you guys. Love and appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye!